is my hypothesis. I believe that lions will roar the loudest based on their sheer size in comparison to tigers and bears. Uh, and therefore, I believe that they will have a higher lung capacity and therefore be able to generate more sound in one roar. Oh. Yes, sir. We're going to have to capitalize, and this will be, where will we be trying these? Probably the Sahara. Excuse me, sir. Yes. No, you're saying lions that originated in the Sahara, but of course you're going to go to like a, a local zoo, maybe like the Beardsley Zoo, right? Well, that's one possibility. However, if I manage to get into one of the labs which I'm looking at, they actually have a mentorship program in northern Africa, so I'll be able to go there and actually uh, work with lions that bred in their native land. Okay. Okay. So how? Yes. Um, in the background of the of the of the photo mm -hmm. in the background, I see fire. Are you gonna like fire the lions before you like do the testing? Well, actually, that, that's a that very good question. That is one possibility for how we make them roar. Now there are a couple of options. One, we can present food to their environment. Uh, also, presenting with fire, something that scares them to make them roar. So we're gonna have to look at a lot of different options. So you're going with the Frankenstein approach, right? I guess you could say that. Who okay. I mean, I know, like, the, the Frankenstein approach itself was, you know, it was a book, but who, who developed the idea to kind of... I thought it was Galileo. Uh, no, no, Ma Mary Shelley actually had some research time, compatriots. I think it's time to move on to the rest of the procedure. I'm trying to keep Here's this. Here's the, the video. This is, like, a video clip. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. no. I'll, I'll just... 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 Treat it like a GameCube. You got you got to blow on the cartridge. Listen, take out the cartridge and blow on it. Men's, I'm not going to lie, this is pretty unprofessional. Well, I, well you, you know, I'm sorry. If, if I was the one clicking, no, let understand the technical difference. You, you need an IT guy when you're going to present. Hey, oh, okay. here we go. So, my mentor in this project, Dr. Samuel Johnson, PhD, MD from Harvard University Medical School. Okay. So, uh, this is him on the streets of New York. He was actually doing a behavioral science project at this time, uh, examining people's responses to cigarette smoking in a public area. Uh, and the famous quote, oh, that should say I'm hungry for science, I'm sorry. Uh, because he was saying he's very interested in science. And rather than love, than money, than faith, than fame, than fairness, give me truth. And that's one of his favorite quotes about science. Because he really loved to discover the truth, especially about um, how species war. Yes. So last. Never mind. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Next slide. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is a little animation I put in there. You know, to spice it up a little bit. My sources Wikipedia, of course. <laughs> um, and back, it's only a background. Oh, sorry. All right, go back. Go back. <laughs> Go back down to the push button. Alright, alright. Oh, let me, let me. <laughs> really oh wait, I actually that. had a question on this page. Yes, actually, alright. Actually, yeah. Okay. So when you make humans war, are you going to test us in class? Oh, well, yeah, that would be a possibility. How I'm not sure that that would be scientifically accurate because you guys have seen the procedure. I think I'd have to go and find people and just say, I'll give you five dollars, roar for me. And I think that would be, that would be I'm efficient. I'm not, I'm not doing it. That's how we would carry out a behavioral project. This essentially is a behavioral project. Hold on, but if you don't know what you're, you know you're grabbing onto, then how are you ever going to let go? What do you mean? I mean exactly what I'm asking. Because you have the roar going on here, but then if you, if you have to ask people what they want to do, then why does it even go back again? 
Well, <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is, we're obviously not going to get a perfect sample. However, to maximize the accuracy, we'll just go after people who have no idea what's going on in relation to this project. Right, and that'll include a lot of paperwork. Oh, yes, oh. Yes, it will. Uh, and that's one of the problems. We're going to need paperwork in is order it, to work with human subjects. Is, yes. it, is it legal to, say, poke someone and make them work? <laughs> or just a fire? Well, I think we definitely need um, wave reforms, obviously. Well, you see... Um, I think it would be. I've talked to Dr. Morgan about this, and he thinks it would be. I, I got it. And of course, Mr. Johnson. Yes. Did you ever think about dual roar harvesting? Like, if you were to release a line onto the streets and try to get it to intimidate other people into roaring and have other people intimidate yeah. it to it's roar? A matrix. It makes a matrix. It's a wonderful, yeah. Very good idea. However, I have to worry about liabilities in that case, and I just, I, I, I just don't have the time in my. Three years of you could confetti waivers onto the streets. Right, but then also you can't you can't stop the fact that there's going to be an influx of just total ratios back again from what you're you know, what you're going to ask, you know? Right, right. You also have to worry about measurement. I think that would yeah. be yeah. It's the right. metric system, guys. And Come on. You know how yeah. I'm working, you know how I'm working with fish. Yeah. Maybe we could invert our projects together so we could see if Ryan, lions eat fish, do they roar louder? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If Definitely. Not, future research carbon would makeup. concern. Uh, what actually affects the the, 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 the the loudness of a roar other we, than the can speech? Can we continue with this presentation? Connor, yeah, uh, Connor just has one question. What tranquilizer are going to be used for the lions? I'm just going to uh, go over here. See, this is where I, this is where I get, you know, it's just here. Should, should I, do it just here? Just go out and press enter. You said you were just going to use chloroform, enter. right? Yeah, this is what happens every time. <laughs> I'll turn the volume down. <laughs> Men's, uh, men's. <laughs> men's. You never, you never answered his question. What tranquilizer? Question? He asked what tranquilizer you're gonna use. Okay. Yeah. I was in the impression that you were gonna use chloroform, but chloroform. There's a possibility. However, there are several other options which I am exploring in order to both minimize cost and, of course, make it as humane as possible. Yes. Well, specifically, I mean, I can you go back to the slide of your mentor? Yes, go back to the mentor slide. Just press uh, back. Okay. What work have I done with him? Well, mainly we've talked about the procedures of the project that we're going to, uh, you know, we're going to be using. We've, he's also done some work with smaller animals, the sounds they generate. So I've talked to him about that. What animals? Ferrets, for instance, <laughs> dogs. Um, in the picture down there, you said he went to Harvard, but that appears to be um, near Corn uh, Columbia, right? New York. Well, he's in New York, but he did go to Harvard. He's been doing work at some uh, some work at uh, NYU actually recently. Yeah, I heard at the recently. Queen's College too on the Empire State Building. I, I, it's I, actually I the, know King's know that that. the King's College. The King's College. The Queen's College is actually very yes. good to me. Yeah, it says um, Harvard University Corn Medical School. Do they work on like treating diseases for corn there? <laughs> Uh, well, actually, he was in one of the separate schools specifically studying corn growth. Oh, okay. Uh, their school back. Well, isn't that kind of how we got to start? What does that do with lions roaring, though? It seems like a different. Well, field. you know, it's very. He was a very interesting story. He originally was going to go into corn, but <laughs> it's, just, it's basically biology, all of it. You know, it's all the same topic. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. He, you know, DNA. He's an interesting. Yeah. He's an interesting how, life story. How did but you? I'm not gonna go into how it did right you now. find him as a mentor? Well. Actually, he was a, he was a judge at SISA, you know, yeah. and he came through, and I said, well, I'm working with some biology stuff, and he was like, how would you like to come work with me on how animals roar? Now, and I said, this would be okay. extraordinary. If I'm not mistaken, he met Michael Clark Duncan, right? He met the guy. The guy, from, the guy from the Green Mile. He actually met him and got his autograph. That's what he's told me, but I've never yeah, seen it. Yeah, I wouldn't believe I've it. Never I seen wouldn't it. believe it. So I would That's really cool, though. Spe really cool speaking speaking of rumors, is it yeah. true that in his prime he was associated with the Manhattan Project? The Manhattan Project? Uh, well, there are a lot of rumors surrounding Mr. Johnson. I'm not going to speculate on which of those are true and which of those are false. Okay. Are there any more? Connor. Well, as I said before, the purpose
use is to determine which animals roar the loudest. And what are we going to get out of this? Movie Loud roars? Movies. We're going to be able to maximize roaring capacity in all of It's not even a prank I'd question. I'd also like yes. to point out that that banner right there on the wall, that's his project, so everybody who didn't know. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a semi-finals right. And that's why I'm practicing my presentation preparing for the finals. Yes. <laughs> how, how much time is that, by the way, guys? <laughs> the, the, the clock is running. we got to keep this under. Men, uh, men's, 12 minutes yeah. right now. men's, I have to ask you, do you consider zombies an animal, and do you consider a moan analogous to a roar? Well, if we were looking at zombies specifically... I think that's a very interesting point. We could use this research to determine if the exact magnitude of a zombie's moment. So that would be interesting. I'm not sure anatomically well, just, that's similar. Let's just clarify though. right here. Uh, yeah. Zombies is <laughs> an acronym for um, Zodiac Optimal Diotic uh, Integer Equals right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Equals I haven't heard of that. Uh, I was speaking of the other acronym. Uh, which, uh, uh, let me just finish up my sources so we can keep this under the time limit. Right? <laughs> SilenceDaily.com, obviously a great resource. And TheLionsRoar.com, that's Mr. Johnson's own website. Oh, sorry. Does he have pictures of Lions Roar? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. You know, you know, go check yes, but you can, can, check, uh, can check that out. Wait, I thought you had more but slides wait, wait, wait. on this. Are there any more uh, questions? Yes, it's pretty now, good. Now, to get the tiger to roar. Some by their toe. <laughs> <laughs> by the tail. We're not making jokes right now. So. <laughs> this is a prestigious environment for science only. <laughs> Trying to actually get a project going here. Yeah, okay. Let's get a round of applause. <laughs> Now, men's, I gotta tell you now, you're at about 12 minutes as it stands. How much yeah, longer do you continue it's for? Over now. It's over now. It's over now. Pretty much it. We're just gonna take a look, see what. The, Should I uh, stop the timer? Oh, you can stop the timer. There we are. So what's oh, wait, wait, wait. Do we want to see this actual roar? I may want to put this into the project. Here he is. <laughs> wait, wait, what is this? No, no, that no, does no, not no, look no, like no, a lion. This is something else. No, I think he's made a lot of. <laughs> you're on that <laughs> info. We need that. Oh, there we go. Okay, about us. You see his. Oh. Uh, this is it. He should be on here. That's him. No. Nope. <laughs> I think we get the picture. Yeah. All right. Thank you. That'll be all. Yep.